Today, I'm gonna to be making some cranberry walnut bars. These, the recipe is from the uh, 2006, the September 2006 edition of Southern Living Magazine. Now, I will tell you right now, these are called cherry walnut bars in Southern Living. Uh, they want you to use dried cherries. However, I could not find dried cherries. We went to get the ingredients at Kroger, Kroger, we looked in every section where dried cherries would be, and I guess it's this time of year. I don't know. They did not have dried cherries. So I'm going to use dried cranberries. So you need a six ounce package. If you can find dried cherries, then you can make cherry walnut bars. But we actually like uh, cranberries, so we think these will work really well. So this is a six pound, six ounce package of the Ocean Spray Craisins dried cranberries. So we're gonna be using those. And then you need two cups of all-purpose flour. You need one cup of packed brown sugar three-fourths cup of butter cut into cubes, one cup of sour cream, one large egg lightly beaten, three-fourths teaspoon of baking soda, and one cup of chopped walnuts. So now the first thing you want to do is you want to pour boiling water to cover over your dried cranberries and let them stand for 10 minutes. So I have some boiling water going and I'm gonna get my cranberries in this bowl. The whole package. And then we're going to cover these with our boiling water. We are just gonna set this to the side for 10 minutes. While we have that set to the side, we're going to take our uh, flour right here, and we're gonna take our brown sugar and pour it in there. And if you have a, a, a pastry blender, you can um, use that. We do not have one. So uh, it says that you can use a knife or a fork. So I'm using a fork. To put your butter, use your butter in here, and press that into your mixture. And I might end up using my fingers actually for this part. I think I will actually. I think it'll be easier. back over to the cranberries it's been 10 minutes so I have just this I'm gonna drain my cranberries off in here I'm gonna just pour that water off in there like that and it says that you want to uh, make sure that you drain them well so I don't want to leave that you see how much how that changed. But you don't want that net to be sitting uh, down in the water. So I'm gonna move it over here and allow it to drain and move this out of the way. Now, back to the crumb mixture, you want to take two and a thirds cup of the crumb mixture and you want to add it to the bottom of a, a lightly greased nine by 13 inch pan. So, this is a third, and then you're gonna take two cups. Okay, and press this into the bottom because this is gonna be your base. Okay, now move that to the side. Now, in the, your remaining crumbs, you're gonna mix together your sour cream. And your egg and baking soda. You want 
want to stir in your cranberries. So I'm making sure I knock any remaining water off. And you saw I just left them long enough for me to do this part. So stir these in. Now pour this over your crust. to sprinkle your walnuts evenly over the top. Now you want to bake for at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until a wooden uh, toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Um, I will bake this for probably, I'll go right in the middle, I'll go to 23 minutes on 350 and then we'll be back. This is how the bars look after 23 minutes in the oven. I think they look perfect. Um, I did, I told Kevin, I said I made a mistake. Normally when it tells you to grease a pan, I always use parchment paper. So I never grease the pan, I use parchment paper so that I can, if you've watched any of my bar videos recently, I like to be able to pick that parchment paper up once they've cooled off and you can pick the whole thing up out of the pan and easily uh, cut the bars and they're, they, they're perfect. So when you actually grease it in the pan, you have to cut it in the pan and then you have to dig it out. So they're just not perfect looking, at least the first few. So anyway, I just, for, I just lost my mind, uh, for a minute there when it, I, I followed their directions. Um, but I recommend if you make these, I would use parchment paper. You don't have to grease the parchment paper at all. Just line the bottom with parchment paper and then you, you can pick the whole thing up right out of there. So anyway, at this time they're hot and so we are going to allow them to cool. It'll probably take about an hour and a half and then we will come back and cut them into bars and give them a try. So now I'm just gonna go through here and I'm going to cut these into bars. That is how it looks when it comes out. And now Kevin and I will try it. Okay, as I said, these are from the, uh, this recipe is from the September 2006 issue of Southern Living Magazine. And you can order this from Amazon. There's lots of places that you can order Southern Living Magazine. But like I said, these were in the magazine, they were cherry walnut bars. And this is how they look in the magazine. And um, so what's funny is I said in the beginning of the video, I said, you know, we went in Kroger and we looked all over for cherries and I said, maybe it's the time of year, but this is a September magazine and maybe this time of year. cherries were out. It's, it, we're making it at the same time. So it's like they, they should have been out, but they weren't. So Who knows? we're going to try it with the cranberries. I don't like cranberries. But we like cranberries. Yes. They had sour cherries. They had tart cherries, oh, yeah. and the recipe didn't call for tart cherries, so I didn't want to buy tart because I'm, I'm thinking I'm making a dessert. I want it to be sweet. Mm. I like the uh, the texture, the sugary texture mm -hmm. of whatever that filling is. It came together really easy. I actually like the taste of the cranberries in there too. They're, um, you get the little chewiness from the skins of them, but you get a little that that sweet tartness from the cranberries themselves. Those are really good. The walnuts that is dangerous. Down. That is dangerous. That is dangerous so in, good. in that you could eat the whole. Oh pan. my, yes, you could eat a whole pan full of those. Yeah, they're very those good. Those are texture, flavor. I love those, and it it was so easy to do. Mm -hmm. Um. Very, very easy to make. And it's funny because with that sour cream, you know, Kevin wasn't in here, but you're taking part of the crust, the crumble that you make, and you're putting it in the bottom of the pan. Right. And then you have a certain amount left over in a bowl. Mm -hmm. To that dry mix, you're adding, um, you're adding sour cream and your egg and baking soda, and you're mixing it up. 
in with those crumbs. And then you're putting your cranberries uh, and mixing it, that up. And then you pour that on top. And then the walnuts are just on the top. It was just very easy. But I did not know how it was going to taste with those ingredients. And I'm telling you, it's incredible. It's very, very good. Very I want to see if you can pick it up like a bar. I think you can. And it's a little soft, so you have to be careful. But, but yeah, it's like, a, it's like a really soft cookie almost. Mm -hmm. And I could have cooked it for the full time, then I didn't. So, if I made them again, it said 20 to 25 minutes. I cooked them for 23 minutes. If I made them again, I would probably go ahead and leave them in the full 25 oh, wow. minutes, yeah. Um, it would have dried out a little bit more, but not much. I think they're good the way they are. I do too, I think it's incredible. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love this recipe. And using cranberries just goes to show you could use cranberries, you could use raisins, you could use cherries, anything like that. And if you want to substitute, you could substitute it and it would work in there. Probably not prunes. Not prunes? Well, maybe, but probably not. <laughs> but I'm very They're impressed very with this recipe. It's, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.